Okay, let me ask you your opinion here. If you're in a relationship or have been in a relationship with a toxic, narcissistic person, any kind of relationship, if you've known one, and it's been en close enough where you have conversations back and forth, and it's close enough where you guys relate back and forth, is it manipulation to test them? Let me explain what I mean here, and then let me know what you think in the comments. My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic, narcissistic people in your life. Say you are in some sort of relationship with a narcissist and they're continually gaslighting you and you want to know, are they really narcissistic or are they just having a hard time with relating to me? Is it me? Is it them? And you're trying to figure out what's going on and say you test the situation, say instead of reacting to the gaslighting and getting all upset and trying to explain things, you do it completely different. Say you do a more detached approach where you're just boring and say nothing, but you're doing this to see how they'll react. Say you use logic and get very, very cold and very collected. Say you gaslight them back. Say you try different techniques and different approaches to see if that person who you think is a narcissist will behave and react differently and change the way they relate to you. Basically stop the gaslighting. Is it manipulation to do that? I think it is not. I think it is part of how it has to be because otherwise you have someone gaslight you, you'd give them no chances and you'd walk away, which may be the smartest thing to do if you have repeated gaslighting. However, most of us are giving the other person the benefit of the doubt and we're thinking maybe they don't realize they're gaslighting. Maybe they are so upset that they can't see that I'm trying to say something that isn't actually what they're saying. Maybe they're confused. And so you try different things to see if it is your approach that is causing this gaslighting or to, you know what I'm saying? Like you try to give it a chance and basically test the waters, but also make a request of the other person. But I mean, in these situations, and it could be anything where you're testing whether the person is narcissistic or not, and you know that you're actually kind of manipulating things, so to speak, you're changing the way you would behave on purpose. It's not what you want to say. It's not how you feel you should speak. It's not coming from an authentic response to what the person's doing. And you're doing it to see if it makes change in the situation, right? So that you can see whether that person is toxic or not. That sort of manipulating the situation I believe only gets toxic if you use it repeatedly to battle the narcissist, because then what you have is two people in a power struggle instead of someone saying, oh, I see that that person is so narcissistic that they will never meet this relationship in a fair way and they can only do things their way and they can only empathize with themselves, right? And I need to get out. That's different than sticking with it and staying in battle with them, a battle for who's in charge, who has power to force them to make change that they're never going to make. So what do you think? Do you think it is manipulative to use your mind and different tactics to test the waters to see if someone is narcissistic or not? Let me know. I'll see you on the next video.